Uh, the next calls are split call. Marama Davidson, five minutes. Ite mangai o te fare te na kue huri noa ki a tato katoa nga kai hoa mahi nga hoa mahi o te fare pare mata te na tato katoa. Mr. Speaker, it's an incredible privilege to stand and tauto call the Papawai and Kai Ko Kiri Kiri Trust Amendment Bill. Um, and I want to absolutely acknowledge the trustees and Fano who may be here uh, listening to the final reading of this amendment bill tonight in the House. Tēnā koutou katoa. Um, particularly because I have had the privilege of visiting uh, Papa Wai Marae in particular with my colleague who does have whakapapa, uh, kahungunu whakapapa, uh, me tiria ture. I had the absolute joy of um, being taken down to the awa behind the marae and literally meeting um, face to face the tuna in their awa, the eels who are being brought back um, to both help bring life and Modi back to the awa by the people of Papawai, um, help, helping to keep their awa strong and healthy. I was able to help with the riparian planting alongside the awa down the back there. They had a pair of gumboots for me to borrow um, during the Ikaroa Rāwhiti by-election some years ago. Um, and so it's, it's a, a particularly special privilege for me to stand and speak on this bill to support the trustees, um, regardless of the fact that I don't have particular whakapapa to kahunganu. But at this point, I also want to acknowledge the naming of the whare nui, which is actually hukurangi, which does... Uh, connect me with my Ngāti Porau Whakapapa and is in actual fact um, a direct uh, acknowledgement of the Kahungunu and Ngāti Porau links. Uh, so absolute pleasure to stand and speak today. I want to acknowledge um, with my colleagues the importance and the learning actually that the Māori Affairs Select Committee will have in the future uh, and suggesting to colleagues to introduce members' bills as dual language member bills so that we can, from the get-go, um, include and introduce them into the House in te reo and in um, English as well. Oh, ka pai, Alastair Scott, um, for supporting this bill through the House, for uh, empowering the trust and the trustees and beneficiaries to take some control to uh, be able to design and uh, some destiny over the way that they run their own affairs. Um, really support that. Uh, so in my examination of the history behind um, the trust, um, so in 1932, a college was destroyed by a fire and um, it was, it, they couldn't afford to rebuild that college. And so I understand that the scholarships, the fundings, um, the trust was set up for the scholarships um, and that they were for, at that time, uh, until now, Ngāti Kahunganu for Anglican schools in particular. So, but, so this, the amendment in this bill seeks to describe better relationships between the key stakeholders, um, establish a more robust nomination process of board members, which is fantastic, provide fairer distributions of pūtia uh, for descendants for tangata whenua, as is the term, tangata whenua of Wairarapa, um, and to facilitate the long-term development of the lands. Uh, I, I do recall also in the Māori Fair Select Committee um, the reference to both Rangitāne and Ngāti Kahunganu uh, having vested interest in the trust, um, but that, as my colleague Metidia today just described, that was left wide for self-identification. Um, so uh, one of the main, uh, I, I, I'm a Queen Vic ancient girl, and so while I, I am absolutely pleased to see that the amendments mean that the scholarships can uh, no longer have to be restricted to Anglican schools. And I do acknowledge that some of the Anglican schools, one of which I went to, uh, have been struggling over the years. Nevertheless, I fully support um, for wider choices, more choices uh, to be made, um, and empowering more, more choices for the scholarships 
to go towards um, for Fano, choosing the education for their tamariki. I'm particularly pleased to see, wrapping it up, yes, thank you, um, the Papawai and Kaiko Kirikiri lands uh, maintaining those tupuna whenua in this bill that they cannot be um, alienated. Huge support for this bill. Kia ora, Mr. Mr. Speaker.